Welcome to the part 3 of special relativity and equals mc square. Do you know about Doppler effect? If not, wait, let me explain. Just imagine there's a source of sound and there's a person standing here. The sound will travel to this person and this person will measure its frequency as F, for instance, but now just imagine this source of sound starting moving at uh, velocity V, and it will be somewhat here. After some after some time, the source will be here. So, you know, this sound is a wave, so it formed a crest here and a crest here. Suppose. So, because they are moving close to each other, the length of the crest, I mean the distance between the two crests should decrease. And that's the Doppler effect. And that is given by the equation weight. So, if the crest will just decrease in distance, that means this observer will now observe the frequency as frequency prime. Now let's tell let me tell you what's the equation for f prime frequency prime f prime is equals to frequency when it was at rest times the speed of flight speed of sound plus the velocity before that was rest divided by the speed of sound minus vs that is velocity right now and this equation works for classical Doppler effect. This equation doesn't work in special relativity because we have to deal with light. And the faster we move, the slower the time becomes. So we have to neglect this equation. So the relativistic Doppler effect deals with electromagnetic waves sound is a mechanical wave you have to deal with electromagnetic wave now just imagine that there's a source of light that's an electromagnetic wave forms a crest here reaches a person and the distance total distance is x where v equals zero but now it's it just it just gain a velocity v and comes here so the distance between the two successive crests will just decrease and the distance between the crests is lambda we know what is this distance that is the velocity times the time it took according to the frame of reference of the light that is ct prime hope it's clear till here so we know that we know that the frequency the observer observed when the source was at rest was new. A Greek letter describes the frequency. But now when it gains some some speed, the frequency it measures is S sorry, new prime. And that frequency is that frequency, I mean the new prime is more than the normal frequency. When the uh, when the source was at rest, now if we have to find out this lambda, the uh, lambda will be equals to c t prime minus v t prime. Now if we just take t prime as common t times c minus v, and that will be equals to the lambda. Why we took c t prime minus v t prime? Well, it is emitting photons which travels at the speed of light. So C T prime that means this distance X minus V T prime that means the distance which the source traveled which that will give us the value of this lambda which is T times C minus V. And now we know that wavelength is velocity over the frequency. 
So, substituting velocity with the speed of light, we'll have lambda equals c over c over nu prime. And now, we have to just, we have to make an equation for this nu prime. So, <coughs> so we can say that nu, nu prime will be equals to c divided by this wavelength and by our early equation we described that this is the value of the wavelength so we can just substitute it here c minus v times t that's actually the t prime i'm sorry i've made a mistake here and we know that t prime is one sorry t over under root 1 minus v square over c square I told this equation in the last video part 2 of special relativity and e equals n square it can also be written as t prime equals gamma times t right so just substitute it here that will be equals to c times oh holy fuck my pen luckily I have a pen extra pen so back on the topic c over c minus v times gamma t hope it's clear till here just let me turn the page okay we know that frequency is 1 over t so have to make an equation for t that will be t equals alright 1 over nu and have to substitute this in the uh, in our earlier equation we'll have nu prime equals nu c over c minus v times gamma now we also know that gamma is which is the Lorentz transform is 1 over under root 1 minus v square over c square so if gamma is here in the denominator you can just write it as nu c over c minus v and 1 minus v square over c square in the numerator place now all right have to make it a bit, a bit more clear we can just write it as nu prime equals nu times under root c square minus v square over c minus v we know that c square over c square minus v square is just nu times under root c minus v times c plus v and I have to divide by under root c minus v times c minus v and we have to cancel both the terms out and we'll therefore left with our equation nu prime equals nu times under root c plus v divided by under root c minus v and this is the equation of our relativistic Doppler effect alright thank you for watching this video and the part 4 will be on YouTube soon so stay connected thank you bye